Every year at this time, we get the desire to do that spring cleaning. And with a new garbage transfer station opening soon, that changes how we do our cleanup. Welcome Nick Porter, the Public Information Officer for Spanish Fork, to the conversation. Thanks, Tasha. Well, Nick, let's talk. Come, over, come talk trash. Yeah, there let's, no, let's talk let's trash. Do it. Yeah. I'm ready. What are we going to talk about, guys? Oh. The new trash station? Or should we start with spring cleanup? Let's well, do spring cleanup. I think they're one and the same. I think uh -huh. to know what yeah. we're doing for spring cleanup, you need to know that there's a new transfer station that is leaving Springville and coming to Spanish Fork. I don't even okay. know if everyone knows, like when we internally in the city say transfer station, do People don't know what that means. Is, so when you said trash station, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's what they're going to Waste station? So, I'll, so <laughs> yes. to put it simply, we take all of our trash to this transfer station, all of our trash and recycling. Then they will take the trash and send it to the landfill. They'll take the recycling and send it to a recycling center. They'll take the tires and the electronics and send that to recycle. Okay, tires so it's transferring so they, items. They collect everything, separate it, and send it out and to where it needs it to go. So my experience at the Springville location has been if you have electronics, if you have refrigerators, if you have things that have things in them that you mm -hmm. can't just dispose of properly, you go to the waste station. Um, they even ask about the number of items or weigh in. That's going to work the same way, right? Oh, but yes. better. Okay. But better. Okay, but better. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the old location had one entrance okay. for everybody. The big trucks, the trucks from the transfer station, and, and each of us in mm -hmm. our personal vehicles. The new transfer station has an entrance separate for all three of those things. So, so all of the city trucks, and we use Republic Services, they have their own commercial entrance. Okay. We'll have our own entrance as residents. We'll go in, get on the scale, go into the building. It's indoors now. Mm -hmm. And you'll take your hazardous household okay. waste to okay. one side. You'll drop everything else at a spot. You can like, go in, park, dump it out. There's really little backing up anymore either. Yeah, and you'll just kind of be way. like in this door, out the other door. How will that indoor, I was watching the video and I was so intrigued. How are, is it one car in, close the door? Is there a vacuum type thing that keeps the yucky out, you know? Yeah, so there's some, there's some actually really cool technology in the yeah. garbage facility. Okay. Uh, so there's a few, there are a few garage doors and they're high speed doors. So yeah, you go in and that door will shut behind you. They actually recycle the air inside the facility every six times every hour. Wow. Love that. No more I stinky said smell. A different time last time, but I confirmed that today. Okay. So. I was just going to say every 90 seconds. So I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, I'm I think I misspoke <laughs> that last time. I confirmed with the director today okay. that yeah, that's how often the air gets gets transferred or uh, Which is so cool. Out cleaned up. So this has been ongoing for how long? Uh, they said they've been in planning this for over 10 years. Oh my goodness. So as far as building and design, I think that's the more recent. We had a groundbreaking, I think, two years ago. Okay. So as far as the facility actually taking shape, it's just been a couple of years. So we Springville just... will go away. That, that, that transfer station is being completely yes, shut that, down. Yes, correct. Okay. The transfer so station this is, is in replace of that. Even yep. though it was in Springville, do we own part of it? And now it's in it's Spanish Fork, South is it? Utah Valley Town okay. Solid Waste District. Okay. So Perfect. it encompasses several cities. Yes. Okay. Yep. So we've always been a part owner, Spanish Fork City, mm -hmm. and we'll, we're still a part owner. We just are lucky enough to host it. So anybody in the surrounding area, right. let's talk spring cleanup now because it is the season, right? So we're Perfect. cleaning things up, we're getting things out of the house, we're getting things out of the garage, we're getting things out of the yard. <laughs> Vouchers. Yeah, yes? so the, okay. because it's a new facility, we want everyone to go try it out. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we are changing it up. That's why that part's important. Okay. We're not putting dumpsters in parks. You will mm. get a voucher this year. Print it off online okay. with your utility account. Take that voucher with you and your load of garbage. Make sure it's covered. They'll weigh you at the scales going in. They'll weigh you going out. You'll give them your vouchers mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Each residence, so each home, will get three vouchers. They have a $10 value. You can really just think of that as three of your own pickup truck loads. That's uh, amazing. If you're gonna pull a trailer, maybe mm -hmm. they'll take two vouchers uh, and they're gonna work with us to get as much bang for your buck as possible. And let's talk about why cover mm -hmm. the, the bed of the truck. Well, I think it's even more important now because the transfer station's in our city. But yeah. there's wind Keep and our city there clean. are It speeds, is windy, yes. And so covering your load is 
to really just to keep our community beautiful. So uh, they charge, they charge a fee. Out, dangerous. Yep. Yeah. And it's dangerous. But mm -hmm. I think, so I think both of those, safety and, and beauty, that's why you cover your load. If you don't, they'll charge you a fee because they're going to go clean they do. it up after. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I do not do that anymore. Yeah. I, yeah, I spider net it all up. And that Good. works. Perfect. So tell us where it's at. Okay, I know where the other one was, <laughs> kind of by Cracker Barrel. Tell me how yeah, I get to the So you're still going to go down north, down Main Street or up Main Street. Mm -hmm. uh, and instead of going all the way to Springville and turning right, you're going to stop at 3450 North and turn okay. left. And turn left. So 518 West, 3450 North. So a little bit more west. Yep. Okay. A little bit farther west yep. and past the south. county jail. If mm -hmm. you know where the uh -huh. county jail is, just past that. And isn't it the next left? or some, something close. Yeah, I believe it's the second, if you're at the jail entrance, it's the second left. Yeah. And when so. do we open? So the grand opening is also, it's right before our spring cleanup. So it's the 25th of April. Okay, They're marvelous. A big ceremony and open house. They're gonna cut a ribbon at two o'clock or so and have some really cool things going on there. And then they're gonna, we're gonna break in the new facility starting the 29th for two One weeks. One cool thing I wanted to remind people, if you haven't seen the video, is there is a second level inside mm -hmm. where you have windows, like where we can look over and see Pete, but you can look, hi Pete. You can, <laughs> you can take your family, your preschool, your scout group, your high school class, and you go upstairs and you can look over the whole transfer station. And this building is ginormous. It looks it's beautiful. Massive. If you, I can say that about a garbage building, Beautiful. We can say that now because okay. there's no garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. now. I think it's, it's over 100,000 square okay. feet. And, and you can sit and watch all of this happen. It's quite incredible. Yeah. The other thing I love listening to Mayor Mendenhall talk about is, is this big enclosed building you would never drive by and think, oh, that's the transfer station. Mm -hmm. It's the end of life things. Mm -hmm. But that's our industrial mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. where there's going to be new buildings being built. New technology gadgets could be created in a building half a mile down the street to start the life, the end of the life will be in the next building, but you would never know. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, and I do love that it's enclosed because that's one thing that I hate about the dump. I appreciate all their efforts and what they're doing to try and get that garbage, mm -hmm. you know, right. in there. But there's papers flying down the yeah. street and I always want to like clean up that area when I go by. I'm like, Rhett, look at all oh. this garbage. But it's true, right? So it, is. Mean, it, it is. It is. It's the smell it and you're like, and you look at the big pile of all of the dead, you know, yeah, the dead it's refrigerators. It's all our and, things, right? And, and but so I love that it can be put into an inside facility. I love that thought. Mm -hmm. It's like state of the art. Yeah. It'll really be is. really nice. They have just one more kind of thing they do technology wise. They actually have some infrared cameras that sense the heat on the floor. Mm -hmm. And before you get a big fire, they can see kind of the hot spots and Till so someone brings in like a battery or right. something. Yeah. Okay. So better for the technology. Right. I mean not for the environment is what I meant to say. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they try to keep, they have a lot of fire, you know, fire suppression systems and even some water cannons to kind of put those out. But they're always monitoring, Perfect. taking care of that. And yeah, being inside, we won't have that fugitive garbage that, that gets blown down the yeah. road. It'll yeah. be a really cool thing. And so this is a trial year for the spring cleanup. Um, just a side note, when we have dumpsters in parks, we know it's not just Spanish Fork residents using it. Mm -hmm. So. We don't want to pay for our neighboring city's garbage anymore. Mm -hmm. So this is another kind of helpful, another reason to, to print off your vouchers. They're going to check your ID at the transfer station. So your name and the name on the voucher need to match um, so that we can yes. pay for our residents. Another and, city and take care of, of folks can community. come. They just pay a little bit more. Is that correct? Yeah, they can always okay. go to the transfer station. Okay. And they just won't be able to get a voucher because you have to have a utility right. account. And pay a little yeah. bit more for mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and don't you pay per mile? So, well, in your normal garbage pickup, Spanish Fork, since the transfer station is now in Spanish Fork, we're going to pay less than, let's say, Springville City residents because their garbage men have to drive further to the transfer station. Mm -hmm. So that benefits Spanish Fork. Yeah, that's, I think that's, that's probably huge. all built into the rate. Yeah, we have yeah. With I mean, you're services, not going to probably so, see yeah. anything immediately, but it, it does equal out and benefits us. That's cool. Fantastic. I like it. I love the video. It was well, we love it. I want to go to the second story and watch it Yeah, happen. Yeah, though well, they're yeah. open, they want you to come too. Okay. Okay, so okay. opening date, 25th? 25th. Grand opening is April 25th. Spring cleanup starts April 29th Okay. for two weeks. 
So two the vouchers weeks. are good for two vouchers weeks. Vouchers are good for two weeks. Okay. The spring cleanup vouchers. Okay. Now we still have the green waste vouchers. That's a different discussion, but you can still do the green waste vouchers all summer. Mm. Uh, but yeah, spring cleanup, two weeks, no dumpsters and parks, take it to the new station, enjoy checking it out, seeing how it works, and, and then go back. Okay. Great Spanish job. Thank you so much. Yeah, we do. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Thank you.